sitting by the pond, cooling off on a very hot day with one of my pups. Um, not sure if I even shared this, but this is the first pond that I, we did. My sons and I dug it by hand mostly and uh, attempted to seal it a few times and it failed. Um, I'll go into more in the details of what we did that failed and what worked. But it, yeah, either way, finally we found a good source of bentonite clay. And now this pond seals. And last time it filled up, uh, it wasn't water I brought in. It actually was from the storm that we had. Let me see, when was my son's graduation? It was, uh, I believe it was, what, June the 8th. So this has held water since June the 6th, which today is, is it July 1st or somewhere close to that. So anyway, this pond holds water about a month. It can be totally filled up by runoff from the dam, which is what happened. Uh, well, pumping water from the dam. And so if it can hold water for a month, I'm pretty sure that it's, it's pretty well sealed. It's just evaporation. Uh, which can be reduced by obviously shade cloths uh, and getting deeper so this is more of a test of seeing if we could make a pond out of the clay out here uh, and if we could get it to seal so we can uh, the bigger pond which is behind it which I can't show you well I'm not gonna show you it's not done yet uh, I, I, I might uh, show you a little bit of the buildings of it I kind of like to not talk about things until I've done them and I know what I'm talking about. So I know how to seal a small pond. Uh, the next pond, this one is about, I guess about 30 feet across. The next, thir thir roughly 30 by 30. The next pond is like, I wanna say 60 by maybe 30 or so. So, but anyway. Uh, this one will feed into that one and then that one will feed into the bigger pond down below and there are a few other ponds But this is the first one that successfully I feel is hundred percent sealed that holds water Now we just need to replicate this um, Used a couple different methods, you know putting down the clay pounding in with the uh, I Forgot what that's called We'll call it a clay hammer <laughs> Let's make up words and uh, uh no it's not a grater i don't know what it is anyway pounding the clay in mixing in with the other clay and what this is is bentonite clay as you can see when it gets wet it puffs up uh sometimes almost uh they say a hundred times maybe more its original size and that seals in between the cracks in between all these rocks and everything else. And that creates basically a clay liner, which allows the water to not slip out. So uh, having to use different methods on this pond, I'm not sure exactly which one did it. Uh, I'm hoping it is a method of just doing clay runoff from that barrel, which I'll explain down the road. It basically, the rocks and sand fall to the bottom. It's a swirl filter, if you're familiar with those and the clay swirls to the top. And so only clay and water come down in here into the pond and that excess clay falls in between the cracks and does the final sealing. So I'll say there, there's, this is probably a two-step process. I need to get it down to a one-step process. So one of the next ponds will we'll do it completely just with the runoff from the barrel. Because you know that being the case, then that means you can dig a hole, set up as many barrels as you need and just have that runoff seal the pond for you. And that's the beginnings of automated creating uh, ponds in the desert. And that is uh, one of the projects on my list.